There's a word called cabrón, quite bold and strong, for calling someone an asshole who does others wrong. It's best used with care, lest you make a mistake, for calling someone that can cause quite the quake. In feminine form, cabrona, you see, can label a bitch as mean as can be, but wield it with caution or face a storm, for these words pack a punch, not quite the norm. So if you must use them, make sure they fit, for cabron and cabrona don't easily quit. A linguistic spice, like hot pepper's heat, it's best served with humor, or not at all, meat. Hee <laughs> hee Coffee and Headlines is brought to you by the generous support of our viewers and the following community partners. Best Court Cutting TV, Bravo's Restaurant Bar, Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork, Puerto Vallarta Neurofeedback, Puerto Vallarta Owner's Reps, Oculto, and Siam Cocina Thai. Thank you for your support, and thank you for supporting our community partners. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we connect ideas and news and questions and suggestions and headlines about Puerto Vallarta, about Jalisco, about Mexico. And, um, and we do it with much pleasure. We take a look at your comments and all that good stuff. I did notice something this morning, and I want your feedback. Maybe I should get your feedback anonymously. No, no, no. I trust you to give me your honest answer. Between silly Dora announcements and standby waterfalls and community partner announcements, it takes about two and a half minutes for the show to go from we start the live broadcast to I open my mouth. Now, I've explained many times that the community partners are essential for our financial well-being because thanks to the community partner sponsorships, we're able to invest in new equipment and gear that helps us improve the quality of what we do here. But I would never want any of that to, you know, get in the way from your enjoyment. So to cut to the chase, is waiting two minutes for the broadcast to get started too much for you? Just say yes or no. Now, there's another aspect of why a lot of streaming folks like to do a lengthy introduction, just as an FYI. Um, a lot of other people that do this kind of broadcast uh, usually have a countdown and uh, and um, so forth and so on just to give people a chance to get the notification that a show is live and it gives people a chance to get ready and connect so there you have it if I see a couple of people have said no it doesn't bother you but if it ever bothers you I please feel comfortable enough to drop me a line I've always said that we will not be a production or a project driven by advertisers and that continues to be the case. We have community partners because it allows us to remain financially fluid. So just keep that in mind please and I appreciate your feedback one way or another. Now <laughs> it's time for the broadcast, it's time for the news and we have a, a few bits of news and a little bit of musings on Mexican behavior. And, um, oh, I might as well just get started. I am all scattered because I've been eating, breathing, sleeping, 
uh, dreaming Aretha Franklin for the last few days, but it's almost over. We're almost ready for the broadcast. I mean, for the broadcast. Well, for the presentation. Anyhow, I have good news for friends from Canada, from all my Canuck friends. I say Canada as uh, something funny. It's not meant to be offensive. I hope you appreciate that. But Canadian Airlines, WestJet, and Air Transatlantic, or Air Trans, I think it's called, have announced a frequency in increases on their flights to Puerto Vallarta for this coming winter season, along with new routes from the United States. Of course, this increase will allow more Canadian and United States tourists the opportunity to visit and explore or to return to our city, and this is excellent news. Not so excellent news is the fact that city officials are now blaming the weather for increased delays in the conclusion of the northbound Francisco Medina Asensio lateral improvement project. It's like, couldn't you factor the weather into, well, anyhow. Now, authorities are doubting that the project will be completed before the new administration takes over. Are you surprised? I certainly am not surprised. And of course, drivers and pedestrians and everybody continue to be frustrated. All I can offer as a recommendation is just deep breathing and patience because there's nothing we can do to hurry this along. Now, this is interesting news. Uh, we recently announced one of Claudia Sheinbaum's uh, campaign promises, the return of train service from uh, Mexico City to Guadalajara, making stops at several towns, including Querétaro. And of course, one of the first steps after she made the announcement was to order a feasibility study for this to happen. The study was conducted by K CPKC, or Canadian Pacific Kansas City, and this is the Canadian Railway Holding Company that has the rights to some of the tracks. Now, CPKC has stated that it will take some five years to complete the train from Mexico City to Querétaro because in order to run a high-speed train, which is actually the desirable outcome, existing tracks must be replaced. And of course, the Querétaro to Guadalajara train stretch was not even mentioned at this time. So if it will take five years for the new train to be completed from Mexico City to Guadalajara, I would make an educated guess that it'll probably take another three to four years for them to complete the stretch from, Guadalajara, uh, from Querétaro to Guadalajara, but hey, you never know, maybe they'll do it sooner than later. And with that said, let us take a quick look at the weather forecast just to see what's going on out there. Eating carrots does not improve your vision. Buying carrot apps, on the other hand, that is a cute pun from our carrot weather man. They must be looking for new people to buy the application. Carrot weather is the name of the app that I use for the weather forecasting. It is available for the Mac and also on the iOS store if you want to install it in your phone, your iPhone, and you want to read the charming little insults that um, Carrot Weather comes up with every morning. It is um, 31 degrees out there right now. Humidity is at 66%, and our weather forecast for today says it's going to be mostly cloudy skies. We're going to have mostly cloudy skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon a chance of rain of 40%, a high of 33, and a low of 23. And then tomorrow, we'll have mostly cloudy skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a chance of 32, and a low of 23. Finally, Friday, scattered thunderstorms are possible throughout the day with a chance of rain of 77%, a high of 32, and a low of 23. And this brings us into our next section where I want to let you know um, that I've been watching the, the Democratic National Convention in the United States. And I mentioned this not because I want to make a political statement about the whole thing. Uh, we don't do those political statements here, particularly when they pertain 
to politics that are not our country's or Mexico's politics. But I've been watching because our dear friend Daniel from Coffee and Headlines, Dan, my dear friend Daniel, who is also one of my technical gurus, um, he is working at the national at the Democratic National Committee. He is in charge of streaming um, the convention to all these outlets, these news outlets. And I love our friend Daniel. I love my friend Daniel because he is a, mus a trained musician like I am, and his life took him to a world of technology, and that's how he makes his living. And, um, and I admire Daniel uh, for all these wonderful things that he does. If he's not doing the Democratic National Convention, he's out streaming from Buckingham Palace or working with clients such as Oprah Winfrey. And I just think it's awesome what he does. And I'm thinking I would like to interview him uh, after... This whole thing is over. If you are curious about his line of work, if you are, just write the word, uh, the uh, just write the the, the the word interview in your comment, and we'll be happy to make it happy happen. Happy happen. Okay, moving right along. I do have another uh, another series of announcements. Let's start with this one. Uh, Whiskey Kitchen, Gina Hendricks from Whiskey Kitchen is going to be doing a pairing event that involves whiskey, ricea, bourbon, and tequila. Whoops, I had to move myself out of the way to be able to read the whole announcement. This is going to happen on the 23rd, which is this coming Friday, and she's going to give us details about this event this afternoon at the Spotlight. I also want to let you know that yesterday we were, I got tired of working and I called my drinking buddies for, uh, let's, I said, let's go find us a, a drink, an afternoon cocktail, an afternoon two for one event. And we quickly rushed over to El Rey Lounge, which of course was closed because they, they're not open until um, Wednesdays, I believe. But we did run into Lawrence, Lorenzo, who told us that sales for the weekend's drag brunch are going very well. They still have some seats available. So if you want to go to their second drag brunch event, it will happen on Saturday um, from uh, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. And of course, I already mentioned it, but I mentioned it again. The spotlight is this afternoon. As always, I'll be brought, well, not as always, as we recently switched we are broadcasting and producing the spotlight live from the joint boutique hotel in case you want to swing by and have a last minute event or something that you wish to mention gina is going to join us remotely from another place she's already confirmed this so and i have a couple of other announcements up my sleeve so if you want to join us um join me while I'm producing the spotlight. I'll be at Cafe Rio a little bit before four o'clock. So you're welcome to join me. Uh, otherwise, you're welcome to join us as we watch this afternoon from the comfort of your home. Last but not least, well, I have a couple of other things. This one surprised me. Guadalajara was just singled out by the acclaimed Time Out magazine among the top five cities in the world with the best nightlife. And I have to say, I love my Guadalajara and I love my Guadalajara's nightlife. Don't get me wrong, but I do wonder what the criteria was. I haven't had a chance to read the article, but I will. The other cities on the list were Rio de Janeiro, Malin, Manila, Berlin, and Austin in the state of Texas. Last but not least, of course, I am just giddy about tomorrow's Aretha Franklin's Queen of Soul presentation that I am going to uh, present, presentation that I'm going to present at the Joint Boutique Hotel tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. in comfortable air-conditioned seating. If you have nothing better to do, It'll be so great to just shake our shimmy together as we dive into the spectacular life of Aretha Franklin, her rise as an iconic figure in popular culture, 
and uh, all the wonderful things that made her special, her powerful voice, her unforgettable performances, and her lasting influence on music and society. And here we are, ready to look at your comments. Let's take a quick look. I see a lot of good mornings, which are always awesome to read. Albert, if you're... Well, I'll send you a message after the broadcast. Never mind. Uh, but your ears must have buzzed yesterday afternoon. And I'm happy to learn that you have just chosen your new patio furniture for your new... Puerto Vallarta Apartment. This deserves one of these. Okay. Do -do -do -do. More good mornings. Param pum pum. Purum pim pum pirim pim pim. Many chit chatting going on, lots of chit chatting going on among yourselves, which is perfectly fine. Then I see a bunch of no's, which means to me that it's okay if we have all these public service announcements and community partner announcements at the beginning. I appreciate your feedback. And again, oh, Brian, Brian said he minds the announcements. So everybody, like, Shame Brian. No, I'm just kidding. Brian is my friend, so he's entitled, or so he thinks, to um, to to poke me on that one. Fine, be that way. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, to be honest, I get a little bored of the same Dora shit. I, I appreciate that, and you know what? I have every intention to do more Dora repertoire. I get bored of the same Dora shit, which is why I don't always include it. The fact of the matter is that Dora skits is one of the things that I had to put into pause without having internet at home just because of what it takes to produce them. It all happens online. Um, but if anybody just wants to see Dora go away, um, just don't say anything. <laughs> but if you'd like to see other skits by Dora or other kinds of contributions by Dora, uh, just write the word Dora in your comment and that'll give me some indication of what's on your mind. Uh, Luna is camera shy. Some days she is. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Oh, Betsy, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. That's wonderful. Um, oh, pues, I love, I love Chris because Chris always finds a way to push my buttons in a gentle way, which I appreciate. Button pushing when it's gentle is always welcome and appreciated. <sighs> Mark says, so if I don't do my Spanish homework, can I blame the weather? Of course you can, Mark. That would be, um, you would be taking a good example from our city's administration. This brings me to a frequent expression that we have in Spanish, which is lo que pasa. And you see, that would be an interesting thing for Dora to tackle. Lo que pasa is what we say in Spanish. It's the equivalent of saying in English, you see, and then comma, and then going into a lengthy excuse to attempt to acknowledge the fact that you fucked up and you don't have a better reason for your fucked upness. Um, so I can almost imagine the city officials saying something like, well, lo que pasa es que the weather is shitty. So we'll, we'll talk about this expression at some point. Uh, oh, girl, am I going to snap this? Not sure what KPK, CPKC is doing with rail lines in Mexico since they are having such trouble here in Canada coming to an agreement with their union workers. Well, I am not sure what's going on with CPKC in Canada. 
but the Mexico subsidiary is doing fine. I suspect that while there may be some woes with your railway um, compliment, uh, company in Canada, the, the, the Mexican wing of that is operating perfectly fine. I'm sorry to hear that there are strikes in, um, in Canada, but the Mexican subsidiary is doing just fine. Otherwise, I would not have published uh, news that came from a reliable source. Uh, I missed that announcement. World Culinary Awards. I, I did see the I did see the the news item. I'm glad that you're happy, Laura. Personally, I you know having been part of the company that invented Realist Choice Awards in Puerto Vallarta a million years ago, I take all these polls with a grain of salt. Personally, um, they all say that they're editorially driven, but you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to like rain on your excitement about these restaurants. But one of the reasons why I don't feature these kinds of announcements on a frequent basis is because of that. A lot of them are disguised as editorial announcements or awards. And a lot of time they're driven by commercial purposes. Um, that's just me. Also, something else about these news is that they're featured in a lot of other places. Uh, let's see what else we have. I get positive feedbacks for uh, the idea of interviewing Daniel. I will run this by him, and I know that he's going to be back in town in November, so maybe we can have a candid conversation with him then. Um, thank you for that extended feedback. Yes, um, I've been enjoying the production of the, of the convention. It almost feels like a concert. It's amazing. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see what else we have. <gasps> the cookie lady, Chelly. I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, Chelly Jimenez, as you know, is a lovely lady that sells cookies around Emiliano Zapata and other places. Um, it's good to see you. Te mando un abrazo, amiguita. Uh, let's see what else. Boom, 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 boom. Totally agree with you, Devin. An amazing performer. Performer. Uh, oh, Brian wants new Dora. Okay, more Dora, more Dora. Okay, I got it. I I got it. And Brian says, I think Dora in moderation is best. Tomala. Okay, let's see what else. Uh. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. I have a 540 day streak, 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 streak with my Spanish lessons in Duolingo. That deserves a bravo. Where is the, where is my bravo? Where is my applause? Well, here. Oh, I found the applause. Here we go. Yay. Yay. Good for you, Devin. And let's see. Oh, here's another one. Spencer has 392 days with Duolingo. Bravo to that. I have been playing my, my farm game on my iPad for like 600 days, continuous days. I don't know if that amounts to anything, but that's just me. Um, Chris asks, how are you making out with your bill from your Wi-Fi provider? Oh, isn't that a funny question? I have attempted to connect with Telmex like four times just to negotiate a, a refund or an adjustment on my bill. And it's impossible to do it online. You have to go to the company and I just haven't been in Plaza Caracol lately, but I will go at some point. And that's the only way to get it done to the best of my knowledge. Um, I'm also uh, exploring the possibility of getting a an Elon dish, a Starlink. I actually have Daniel's Starlink um, 
this here in the house right now. I try to run it from my window, looking out of the window where I have a clear mountain sky. But the dish, even though it moves around and it hovers to find the ideal position, it's not that smart. I thought I could talk to the dish and say, hey, Starlink, look out the window, not at my ceiling. But it insists on looking at the ceiling. So I need to, if I'm gonna go there, which I haven't decided if I can afford it, um, is I need to get the dish installed in the roof, which is only one level over me and run a cable and so forth and so on. So that's the longer answer to your question, Chris, but thank you for asking. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Linda says 645 Duolingo days in a row. Felicidades. I think it's awesome that so many of you are considering that learning Spanish is important. I assume for your general life, but I must assume that it is important for you to better connect with Puerto Vallarta. I just think that is absolutely awesome. And with that awesomeness, I think this is a good time for us to end the broadcast. It's a pleasure to be broadcasting from home, but I am also happy to go to the joint this afternoon and every Wednesday afternoon moving forward to do the spotlight from there. I hope, and I keep many fingers crossed, that moving forward we will attract more and more interesting interviewees such that some of you that are in town will want to join us live there and ask your own questions and meet the interviewees in person. That's my aspiration. That's my intention. Between now and then, we continue to push the project forward as best as we can. Now, it's time to enjoy the rest of the day. I wish you a wonderful day. And I wish to see you tomorrow morning. I wish to see you this afternoon at the Spotlight. And I certainly wish to see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day and stay in touch.